near or wherever you are. What is that? You haven't seen the movie Titanic yet, have you? <laughs> It is actually not that hard. Woo! They pushed it, but they love those motor motors. They were a little um they were definitely a little pushy though, the very the, the very guys, it's like, you know. Act natural. <laughs> Be in your natural habitat. Let's get naked. Your natural habitat. Let's get naked then. I like it. So far, we have never caught a fish. Our doc mate, Matt, recommended that we get blood worms. We had some bites and some nibbles. Nobody caught a cold. <laughs> yes, we have not had any life with fish. And a lot of it, honestly, is our general foolishness on what the right gear is in terms of fishing rods and line strength and all that kind of stuff. Where'd this come from? All right. Um, I bought them from the store. Oh, we didn't right. harvest them from the ocean. Five, what I wanted to do, I just. Oh, you're going to tear them? You're going to rip them in half? Rip it in half. Rip it. Yeah. Definitely, please give us advice. We'll gladly take that. Hey! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! <laughs> Don't use a Floyd knife. Eat on that plate again. Oh, yeah, we can. I really don't understand why we need a plate, well, but yes. Here. So, I mean, it may give you. That's a little bristles on it. All right, so on your. What the heck? You said bloodworms have copper teeth. That's not a bloodworm. It is a bloodworm. Did you see it yeah. bleed? It bled. Well, obviously, every other worm would bleed too, but they are bleeding like kind of with those. Oh, what the that? Look. <coughs> no, watch we'll it. Do it up there. Um, Evan and I will go up first real quick. Where's the other half of the worm? He's on the plate. Okay. It's on the plate. <laughs> He's on the plate! <laughs> What's the point? So, who's next? Cedric, let's get you set up on this side. Let's bring the pole underneath. I'm just kind of toss this over the edge. And then, want to hold the fishing pole there, Cedric? You want to reduce the... Just um... the pole the door. Yeah, go ahead and you can open that, that's true. Okay. Hey, that. it's not sinking. Yeah, you need to unlock that so Oh, never mind. It's what? It it's, it's, it's sinking. Yeah, the, the weight's too heavy. Lock it, lock it. Lock it. Oh. And I reel it back in. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. That's, and then hold it right there. That way you can see the bobber. We may not be deep enough. We'll see. Yeah. Well, it I, seems I like we're really deep. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah. 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 On our Catalina 30, we do not have a windlass. A windlass is a motor to help bring up your anchor. So, here's our windlass. The dad show, the dad show. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have found, if we do have trouble getting our anchor up, we move a quarter turn 90 degrees to 180 degrees from our anchor position 
and then pull it thrust back with the engine and then go back forward and try again. And that usually will unhook the anchor. We ended up having to, to do that little trick, which has always helped us. I think we cannot re resurrect it. it. Looks a bit like a cut of penis. <laughs> a tiny one, so. Such a tiny worm. Hard to deal with micro penis.